Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'll show you my updated free tweaking utility. So this tool increases your FPS, decreases your latency and input delay. It also has other benefits like cleaning your temporary files and other useless apps off your PC, which just take up storage. Also, at the end of the video, I'll be showing a few extra tips which will improve your FPS in Fortnite. So make sure to watch the entire video. Before we start the tutorial, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So these are basically better and more advanced versions of this free one. They have a lot more tweaks than my free one. So if you notice a difference after the free utility, then my premium or standard tweaking utility will help you so much more. I have hundreds of reviews on my website and my Discord server, so make sure to check them out. Now let's just start the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go in the description of this video and click on this Discord link. And this will invite you to my Discord server where you can download the tweaks. So it opened the app and simply go to free tweaks category right here. And here you can go to the download. But before we download it, I want to tell you guys, get this video to 1000 likes and I'll drop version 1.9. 1 so yeah, just press on download and it should be in your downloads folder. Simply right click on it and press extract all extract and for people wondering if this tool has any viruses or something you can put it into virus tool tool or you can just check the code simply right click on it press here show more options and edit and you can view the code so trust me this is completely safe but yeah so simply right click on it run it as administrator and here it will open this section so first press one make a restore point and this will make a restore point so you can revert the tweaks so if you have any issues after the tweaks and you just want to completely revert them then you can just use a restore point all right so after that we'll put you in this warning so simply just press any key to continue and then it will download resources which are apps that the utility uses stuff like windows update blocker and video profile inspector it's a bunch of stuff that will help your performance so yeah firstly we have optimized registry so simply just right click so simply just press one after that, we have power tweaks. So don't do these if your PC has overheating issues. So just skip this uh, if you have like high temp temperatures on your PC. But just press two. And this will disable a bunch of power saving features and it will also import my pa free power plan. So you can see XM free power plan V1. But I'm gonna stick to my premium power plan. So I'm just gonna delete it. And if you have any other power plans, simply delete them. But I'm just gonna keep using my premium one since it's a lot better. But yeah, after that we have optimized window setting, which uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. And it also may show error right here. Uh, if you already have this disabled, then it may show error. So yeah, that's why. So after that we have clean, which this will just clean a bunch of temporary files of your PC. Don't worry, it won't clean anything that is useful. It's all just temporary files. I'll just skip to when it's finished. Alright, so after that we have uninstalled useless apps, which this won't uninstall anything which is uh, useful. Uh, it will only uninstall default Microsoft apps, stuff like feedback, which I can bet a lot of you guys have never used. But of course there's a revert for it. Without you having to use a restore point, you can just press number 2 in this. But yeah, simply press number 5 and enter. And I'm just gonna let this run, I'm gonna skip to when it's finished. Alright, so that just finished. After that, we have an auto runs app, which this will allow you to disable a bunch of uh, useless startup apps. So simply go here and go to the logon section and simply only select your antivirus and these NA files and uh, CMD. And the rest of this should all be unchecked. So yeah, uh, this will just make it so the apps don't automatically start up when you turn on your PC, but you can just close it. Boom, that's everything for that. After that, we have NVIDIA and AMD and Intel GPU tweaks. So basically, if you don't know what type of GPU you have, just go to Task Manager and here go to Performance and GPU. And you can see I have an NVIDIA GPU. So yeah, I'm going to do number seven. But if you have an AMD GPU, then do number eight and vice versa. So this will apply the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which this will optimize your 3D settings. And it will also do a bunch of other stuff. So after this, I'm just going to speed run a bunch of these options since all of these are pretty self-explanatory and don't worry, there isn't anything which can harm your PC in it almost any way. So yeah, I'm just going to speed run through ones which I don't have to explain. All right, so after that, we have high priority for games and here you can basically select uh, whichever game you want your CPU to prioritize while it's running. So I want Fortnite to be it. 
but if you get like FPS drops or freezes or something, then revert this, because there's a really small chance it may cause this for some people, but it's just a really small portion of people, so just press R if you, if you want to revert it, but yeah. Alright, so after that we have mouse and keyboard, so simply just press 14, enter, and this will disable a bunch of stuff like filter keys, which are completely useless, enable one-to-one -one pixel mouse movements, and uh, a lot of other stuff. And after that, it will bring out this little menu. So simply go to task manager, go to performance, and uh, you can see I have a 13th gen Intel uh, Core i7. And simply comment this below, and I'll tell you whichever one of these options you should use. I have a high-end CPU, so I'm going to use that. All right, so then we have uh, disable useless animation, so just press 15, enter. And copy my settings, just press just for best performance, custom. Select uh, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges on screen fonts. You don't really have to select these two, but these are nice quality of life features. So I'm going to press apply. Boom. After that, we have Windows Update Blocker. So simply just press this and disable updates. So I recommend having them disabled while playing or something. And if you want to install an update, just simply press enable. Also, one thing. If you want to download something from Microsoft Store, you have to have the updates enabled for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. After that, we have device clean, so just press 17, press Control A on your keyboard, and press Remove Selected. After that, we have RAM tweaks, so just press 18, Enter, and that's it. And then we have the disable Cortana, which is another useless Windows feature. So after we have disable mitigations, which mitigations are basically security features and the ones that I selected are pretty useless and they just take up your performance. So it's pretty good for, it will help you disabling them. All right, after that we have BCD tweaks. And if you don't know what some of these do, I would simply just Google what it is. And there's a lot of uh, information about this on Google. I don't wanna make this video too long explaining everything, but trust me, all of this is completely safe. And this is pretty basic. Uh, in my premium utility, there are a lot more advanced tweaks. And don't worry, even the premium utility is completely safe and it won't harm your PC in any way. So simply just press 21. Priority tweaks. And after that, we have disable Xbox services, disable game DVR. This is just a bunch of useless stuff on Windows. And there's reverts for this, of course. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do all of these. Right after that, we have a network throttling index, so yeah, do that, and then we have disable Bluetooth, another thing which I know most of you guys don't use. Uh, revert for it as well, and then stuff that I added in this update. Then there's stuff that which I added this update, which is uh, IO priority, so do this, and uh, NFTS tweaks. So, yeah, that's everything. So make sure to restart your PC after this. So simply just go here uh, and restart your PC. So for the tip, I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do inside of Epic Games Launcher. I think some of you guys may already know this, but just go to options and basically make sure pre-download streaming assets is checked. Make sure DirectX 12 shaders are unchecked, high resolution textures are unchecked. And yeah, simply press apply and this will download it. And then open Fortnite after that. I'm gonna show a few more things. All right, so just go to settings, press here, settings, and go to here. And make sure you first have energy saving disabled, all of replays disabled, all of this disabled. And also go to here and make sure you have all of this disabled. But yeah, that's everything for the trip tips. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to the utility. So yeah. If this video helped you, then go to my website, simply just press W and this will take you to exmtweaks.com and you can check out my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So there's a, a lot of reviews here. You can see I have 159 reviews on just premium and you can also go to my Discord server and you can see there's a lot of customer reviews. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I don't know where I'm gonna post this, but Merry Christmas and I love you guys. Sorry for this being kind of scuffed. I just didn't have a lot of time to record this because I'm going somewhere. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just stop waffling. Bye.